Welcome to my house, Mr. Harkin. Come freely. Go safely. Count Dracula? I am Count Dracula. Will you come in? And please, leave here some of the habit you bring. No, no, allow me. I insist. I insist. You are my guest. It is late, and the servants are not available. English literature is the richest in the world. But then, of course, I'm partial. I have a passion for the English language. I would wish to speak it fortuitously, perfectly. But you almost do, Count. This almost is disheartening. You shall remain here for a while so that I may learn why. And shatter, shatter this almost irrevocably. Please correct the slightest error in my speech. However small, please correct it. Frankly, sir, I was hoping to return to London as soon as you've signed the lease of the House of Perfect. No, no, you must remain here for a month. A month? Wish me to stay so long? Only my needs are to be consulted. Remember the instruction and why look upon it as a little holiday. I understand, sir. You will write to Mr. Hawkins and your fiance. Should you show it? Or have you already done so? No, sir. I could find no writing paper in my room. There is some writing paper here on the desk. Come back, sit down. Very, very thin. The thinnest paper possible. That one can almost see. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Tell me about this house in England, which has been purchased for me. What is the name of it? Carfax. Carfax. What is the origin of the word? Well, it's an old house in a district of London known as Perfleet. Near the River Thames. It's four-sided, and each corner follows a point of the compass. The name, then, is possibly a corruption of the French cat pass. Four. Absolutely correct, Count. And how did Mr. Hawkins come to hear of it? My fiancé's sister, and I was a doctor in the area. You are engaged to be married? Yes, sir. And does your fiancé live in London? Yes, with her family. But they always go away for the summer. Of course. The English custom. Spa or watering place. They go to Whitby on the Yorkshire coast.